Hello, hello, Pedigree Stage Stop fans. Here I'm with Christina Gibson. I turned my mug off so we have a better connection. Christina, how was the Christmas rush doing to us with uh, Jesse? It was good. It was uh, busy and fun. And yeah, always fun to get out on the trail with other people. Um, you know, we spend so much time training by ourselves in the woods with the dogs that it's kind of fun to share it with others. So how did Jesse rope you into it? Um, I came here last year um, and had a great time. And so this year she needed somebody else last minute. And uh, my partner, Aiden, and I hopped in the car and brought all the dogs. And here we are. So how long of a drive do you have to do between Washington and, and where Jesse does the tours? Um, it took us, it's supposed to be about seven and a half hours. Uh, it somehow ended up taking about 12 hours last time. Um, and on the way back, we're actually making a couple stops along the way uh, to see some friends. So it'll be a little bit longer this time, but worth it. Nice. So for the ones not knowing, uh, we're talking about, uh, I did talk about Jesse Royer. And I guess her and both Laura Dovero, they're a little bit of your mentors, aren't they? Yeah, um, most of my dogs in my kennel come from Laura. Um, Jesse is the one that I got my female wind shear from, uh, who my litter of pups that's running stage stop this year, they're yearlings now. Um, that's who they're out of. So both of those ladies being two pretty tough mushers, um, you must be doing something right that they take you on and um, <laughs> and, um, and and you must be doing something right that Je for Jesse to hire you back. That's a pretty big compliment. <laughs> I I sure hope so. Um, just out here having fun running dogs and can't ask for more than that. So when you did the tours now, did you take your race team or did you take a separate team or what did you do? Yeah, so I brought my race team out here. Um, we had a bit of a rough stretch on training before we got out here, just a combo of um, a lot of our training trails that I usually use from my home in Washington um, are being logged right now. And so they're pretty much, they were a sheet of ice uh, pretty much once the snow started falling. Um, and then we, we've had about uh, six and a half feet of total accumulative snowfall <laughs> In Washington this year so it was just kind of this mash of uh, not being able to use some trails because they were too slick for the dogs it just wasn't safe um, couldn't get any traction with the four-wheeler or the snowmobile um, and then other trails being so snowed in uh, we were trying to run them all the time so coming out here for two weeks is a really good way for not only my young dogs um, you know the yearlings to get used to being around people being handled you know there's all kinds of folks every day so kids adults um you know all ages all all uh, personalities and so it gets them really well socialized but it's also good training especially since we haven't had it at home so it's definitely been a blessing for us yeah when i used to do tours mind you that was in the summer i really enjoyed that aspect of it too but also all the weight they had to haul so how many people do you typically put in the sled? Like how much weight do they have to pull? Um, it depends. We try to distribute it pretty evenly. This year we had four sleds. Um, so usually we're doing uh, two adults per sled or an adult and a kid, um, sometimes two adults and a small kid. It really just depends. We're, we're running 10 dogs um, and there's not a bunch of hills uh, just on the tour trails. So uh, it's pretty easy going, but it's definitely like I've seen my dogs bulk up a lot in the last two weeks, but not so much that it slowed them down. They've definitely maintained that speed, which I like. And you're not having to pull a tag sled? No, no, no we're not. <laughs> well, on the glaciers you do. So that's why that's why I'm asking. Well, well that's, a, that's a big advantage if you don't have to do that. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's we use double drivers and single drivers. So um, it does give the op guests an opportunity to um drive uh but it it just makes the whole situation a little bit easier to manage awesome well we're going to end this one right here thank you very much